I'm a girl of 27 years and I have a guy I have dated for almost 5 years plus. He's 32. All through those years, I have always had suitors, like 6 of them. Each time I tell him about it, he starts making plans again to come see my people. He has been making plans to come see my people for a very long time now, but each time he hears that I'm no longer in touch with any of those seeking for my hand at the moment, everything dies. He went as far as telling my mom that he will be coming last year Christmas. As Christmas was approaching, he said January. As it was coming, he said Easter. Then September, yet nothing. Now my mom is saying he doesn't want him again. Even my brother said he doesn't like him from the onset. I told him a few weeks back that someone is asking for my hand in marriage and he quickly said he wants to come this Christmas. Hmm. I feel a mounting pressure on him. Yes, he's not yet all that financially buoyant as he's still staying with his brother. He once told me last year that his brother told him not to allow anyone put pressure on him. I feel like I'm pressuring him. <laughs> I really want him to do things when he's ready. It seems he's rushing things because he's afraid of losing me. He said he will die if I leave him, that he can never lose me. He loves me no doubt, but I don't love him anymore and I don't want to hurt him. I feel pity for him. Please, what should I do? How best should I detach myself from him without causing him much pain? Thank you. See, so all I can say is leave that guy. He has successfully mastered the art of time wasting. And that is the exact reason why it is only when you say there are people coming for your hand in marriage that he will now remember, oh, I need to go and meet your people. You think that this man doesn't know what he's doing. He's very, very cunning. Him saying, hey, if you leave him, he cannot do without you. It's just lies. This is not the one that told you that his brother said nobody should pressure him. And you said he's not financially buoyant enough. But from the way you're sounding, it doesn't seem like you mind getting married to him. It's obvious that you actually want him to take that bull step. And it's obvious that he knows that you don't mind. That is why each time he will act like he wants to go and take that bull step and then withdraw when he notices that the person coming has gone. He knows that you don't mind. So if he's serious, he will just marry as it is to marry. See, the truth about the matter is that I can understand the fact that not everyone wants to prepare so much before getting married. And from the look of things, you don't seem to have a problem with marrying him even in his present financial state. So this man is the only one holding himself and holding you at the same time. And whenever this man is ready, my dear, it's not you that he will get married to. That's when he would remember that, oh, he will, he will not tell you, ah, you're too old for me, or, or he'll cook up one cock and bull story. This is what has, what some men do just to waste your time. My dear, if you are ready for marriage and you say you want to marry, anybody coming for your hand in marriage, scrutinize the person and decide whether you want to marry or not. This person is wasting your time and he's wasting your time intentionally. That's, you should even know this by now. The man is trying to be cunning and he's not even smart enough because this is old tricks now. People have already known these tricks. I'm surprised that there are women that don't even know these tricks. This is old tricks. Tricks that are very, very outdated. So, ah, if you remain in this relationship, you will get the shock of your life. There are many people that have gotten married when they were not really financially brilliant. And the man knows that you don't mind whether he's financially brilliant or not. He is just the one that wants to waste your time for nothing. There are people that will get married. If at that first suitor that came and you told him, he would have rushed. If he's really scared of losing you, he would have rushed to marry you immediately to avoid stories because he really doesn't want to lose you. But this person is not scared of losing you because he really cares. He's scared of losing you because he's feeling like if he loses you now, it will be hard for him to see another person that will stay with him in his current condition. That is the, that's what he's fearing, you know. He's fearing it's not because he loves you too much that he cannot live without you and all these things. He's only scared that if you go, who will stay with him in his current condition?